ES Audio. Hello, I'm Mark Blunden and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, the terrifyingly strong robot that can build you a house. But first, an astonishing 3.3 billion plus cosmic objects in our Milky Way have been revealed in stunning detail for the first time. The vast inventory of celestial entities was created from the dark energy camera at Cerro Tololo Inter-American Observatory in Chile, run by the US National Science Foundation. So what's there? Our galaxy is home to not just billions, but hundreds of billions of stars places where stars are born and vast clouds of dusts and gases. The project took two years and the dark energy camera generated 21,500 exposures of the sky, creating a huge 10 terabytes of data. Next. A study believed to be the first of its kind has discovered ultraviolet light-emitting drying lamps used for gel manicures could damage your DNA. The University of San Diego team examined the effect UV light-emitting devices had on human cells. Those devices are the kind used on nails in salons or at home. The way they, they work is they're supposed to harden the gel, the UV nail polish gel. But in addition to that, these lamps emit something called ultraviolet A light, a specific subtype of UV light, which penetrates through the skin. That's bioengineering professor and study co-author Ludmil Alexandrov, who explains what they saw under the microscope. In our experiments, we can see that it would damage the actual DNA to something called reactive oxygen species, so just specific type of uh, of damaging DNA. And not only damage DNA, because if you have a damaged DNA, you can repair it, but it also, a lot of this damage will not get repaired and you'll see mutations similar to the mutations one see in, uh, in skin cancers. Professor Alexandrov says now more research is needed into the real world effects of these lamps. What we do know is that people who regularly use these devices, such as women competing in beauty pageants, there have been a number of reported cases of very rare cancer of the fingers attributed to doing their nail. Their findings are published in the journal Nature Communications. It's not just cute robo-dogs anymore. No, now Boston Dynamics has unveiled the latest iteration of its biped human robots, which is called Atlas. The latest video shows Atlas gripping objects and running around scaffolding. And the five feet tall robot, basically Robocop without a gun, can now lift heavy objects as part of tests to put it to work on a construction site, all while apparently doing parkour flips. Features include stereo vision and range sensing, but the good news is it won't get through all your tea and biscuits. Could bankrupt cryptocurrency exchange FTX rise from the ashes to revive business on the platform? That's what its new chief executive, John Ray, is suggesting after the firm lost $8 billion in the collapse and it was revealed some $415 million worth of crypto was hacked from the platform. Founder Sam Bankman-Fried is accused of defrauding customers and investors to pay debts at another of his ventures, Alameda Research, which is a crypto hedge fund. But the Wall Street Journal reports Ray is looking to breathe new life into the platform as opposed to liquidating its assets or selling up everything in a corporate fire sale. Can you hear the sound of those tiny violins? Because are cybercrime gangs having a tough time? Making a living these days, cryptocurrency investigators chain analysis report a 40% plunge in gangs' earnings because victims are apparently refusing demands to pay ransoms. And so what are the cash figures? Chain analysis says hacking gangs extorted some $457 million last year. That's $311 million less than the previous year. Let's go to the ads. Stay there for more news from the world of tech and science, plus record-breaking Toadzilla. Why not hit rate and follow in the meantime? Welcome back. You might not know this, but the Crown Estate, that's basically the British land that has the royal family as freeholder, includes nearly 14 miles of seabed around the British Isles. Now King Charles says he's agreed to give all of the £1 billion a year profits from wind farms at sea for what he calls the wider public good. Chris Hayes, a senior analyst at the Commonwealth Think Tank, explains how vital a resource wind is for us. In the last week, wind generated half of UK energy production because it was particularly windy week. In the last year, it's about a third. We do need a lot more. 
And what about the future with all those electric cars planned? The net zero strategy is specified a target of 50 gigawatts of offshore wind by 2030. That's a five-fold increase. But we know that by 2050, that has to increase substantially because the process of electrification is going to increase the capacity needed in the power system. Now, a giant cane toad weighing 2.7 kilograms, dubbed Toadzilla, has been discovered in an Australian rainforest. The amphibian, believed to be the heaviest ever recorded, was discovered by shocked park rangers in Conway National Park in Queensland. Ranger Kylie Gray said her team were blown away by what she described as a monster toad, saying it looked almost like a football with legs. And finally, we know modern satellites are powerful, but did you know they can spy penguins from space? In fact, scientists have discovered a new emperor penguin colony in Antarctica from space by using satellite mapping technology. The colony is home to 500 birds and was actually identified by stains from penguin guano. That's the technical term for their droppings, which contrasted against the white snow. Scientists examined pictures from the European Space Agency's Copernicus Sentinel-2 satellite, which were compared to high-res images from the Maxar Worldview-3, which is the world's most advanced Earth observation satellite. If you're up to date, come back at 4pm for the Leader podcast, where we bring you the latest news, interviews and analysis from the Evening Standard here in London, and we'll be back on Monday at 1pm. See you then.